Look at that. We haven't had rain in probably a week and a half, two weeks, and now it is storming its butt off. Thank you, Jesus. That corn is going to love this. Trump 2020, by the way. There's more. Keep raining. Now that is a pretty field of corn. These first in rows, I guess I didn't get over with the nitrogen. But the rest of it is beautiful. I mean, beautiful. This is a 75 day corn. And as you can see, the rows are already closed in on it. So that makes it really sweet. It's already been sprayed. You still see some of the leaf burn from the nitrogen. But that'll go away. But it is some pretty corn. It's getting tall. Really pretty. It's a 75 day corn. Let's hurry up and the, the bare spot. Right, I might as well turn it right here to where I had the manure at. Nothing ever grows, it seems like in manure. But the rest of it is beautiful. Let's get this stuff grown, harvested, and beans put in. That's what we want. That's the full effect of the field right there. And then it goes all the way around up front. I have to do a better job next year with these. this first end row. Put manure down. Okay, we're gonna check these beans out, the early beans I planted. Seems to look pretty good. Like every single row. Turn my color up on my phone. Something crazy about that here, of course. I got spray sometime with a little bit of grass coming in that bottom back there. Another weed coming up. Bottom right there for some reason. It wasn't wet when I planted. As you can see, they're a little bit thinner right there. But overall, they look good, very happy. These are punished four sixes. Can't believe there aren't any deer out here. Well, it's Saturday, June 6th. We finally got some rain. We had a little rain shower yesterday, and then we got another little one overnight. Uh, probably a couple of tanks is all I'm thinking. I haven't looked at the gauge, but the corn really needed it. We haven't had any rain, I'd say, in two weeks, probably. And I think the last time we had rain, it was probably a quarter, just maybe a I don't even think we had a quarter that day. Um, but it is what it is. Somehow the corn's held on really good. No, uh, it hadn't started to pick up or anything. I was very surprised. I just showed you some beans.
beans will dry like it's a nail. See what that looks like. I think they're still calling for they still got a little barely a drizzle. They're still calling for I don't know, maybe another tenth the rest of the day. I still have some nitrogen I gotta put on some corn, but I was waiting until this rain. I actually wish I had done it yesterday before we got this rain, but they call for rain a couple different times and we never actually got it. And I had put the nitrogen on quite a bit of the corn land and we did get a tent and it kind of helped wash it in, but it didn't, didn't wash it enough. So I'll be doing it tomorrow or Monday, definitely. After this rain now, it wasn't a lot of rain, but it was a decent rain. show you what that looks like. This is a farm that they put the sludge on. And that sludge doesn't normally kick in until about the end of June, July when it gets real hot. So, as you can see, some of it doesn't look good, some of it does, but I put nitrogen on it. I put nitrogen on all this and it it started turning it the way it should be. Doesn't look too bad. It'll come out. Especially after this rain we got and then it gets hot again. Let me turn this piece with this farm right here right on. I know I'm driving down the road, you can't really see much. field it's 114 day and you want to talk about some pretty corn that's right here some pretty corn As you can see, it's starting to turn. It's just got that green tin. I figure about two weeks we'll be cutting. We got them coming Tuesday to work on the baler. Um, I don't think nothing wrong with it, but of course they want to spend money on it. I think the baler's in good enough shape that she do 500 acres, no problem, but seems like we always gotta spend money on dumb, stupid shit, so. That's what we're doing, and we gotta get the draper header out. Um, I got a crop divider that goes on the center belt. I gotta put on that. And, uh, 
combine ready other than when you get inside, turn it on, just send up the concave really at the fan speed. But other than that, hooking the baler up and bringing it up there, everything's ready to go really. Go check some more corn here down the street. some more of our wheat and we're coming up on another 114 day corn this is a pretty peel too That's 114 day. And then when you get up here, on the other side where we here, we got 100 day. I got right here. Now this field right here is a sandy field. I mean, it's one of the sandiest fields we got. And we got to put sludge on it, hoping it would help it, and it kind of looks like it is. I know you'll see some weak spots, but remember, we didn't have rain for two weeks, and you can see it. I mean, the corn's there. I put nitrogen on it, and then we didn't get no rain. But it's coming. Trust me, it looked ten times worse than this. But it's coming. I don't expect to do much out of that field. It's just part of the farm. So you got to plan it. I wish we had pivots here. I mean, that would make a big difference. But then the field that connects to it. There's some more of our weed over here. day difference and I planted a hundred day probably a week and a half earlier and this 114 day is just turned on I mean that's good looking corn now granted the land does get better the further over here you get that's probably why the corn looks like this but regardless it's still very pretty corn I mean you can't complain about that corn right there at all Planted this April 20th, maybe. I mean, the roads are ain't closing. I planted this 100 day right here. The same day I planted my 75 day corn. Uh, April 6th. So, then I went through three frosts, just like my corn the 75 day did, and it still looks good. That field goes all the way back. The woods. But it turned out pretty good. As you see my sprayer, you can see them two rows right there. 
how they're a little weaker. And then there's two right there, three, but they're coming back. That's when I was spraying the Halex and everything. It, uh, the sprayer busted a, busted a line and then she pulled up high pressure and I didn't even see it. I would, uh, it must've been La La Land. So it took me the second row to figure out what the hell was going on. And I looked over and it was leaking, but I figured it would have killed them a couple rows, but it came back. Here, we'll turn down this side road and go back and look. Look at it, see what it looks like on this road. a little weaker around this edge right here they got a bunch of trees hanging over it seems like that always causes that problem but for as late as this corn was planted and the roads are coming closing up but i mean it is very pretty corn i can't wait to see what happens with this 114 day it's pioneer 114 day see around the road the first way that's when we were spreading manure you don't want to get close to the road so we stay away from it but I mean that 114 day that is some pretty corn so we'll see how it goes all right here's a little field of the 114 day these are all the little pain ass fields you've probably seen before in the video, but there's a flooded out spot. But the rest of it turned out pretty good. It's hard to get equipment in this little field. Another little field here. Of it. We had this year a couple of flooded out spots here on the edge, but it wouldn't work going back in there and replanting. Just for that. up on this these little fields Gotta do a better job of getting this first swipe.
stuff on the roof, but we're gonna have to figure something out. Well, it's really, it really hurts to yield on the first pass. And we're coming up on the 75 day corn. See right here against the road again. You can you can see the difference in the first pass where I didn't get close enough to the road. I should have double shot it with nitro, but I didn't. I was thinking about it and then I forgot. As you can see there, see how the first one, two, three, four, five rows are weak. Real pretty corn. And you can see the roots are just about closed. It looks pretty good all the way back. 